another question for the transition elements topic so we're on to number three now as with the other two the link to the question is in the description so if you want to click on that pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers so we'll go through the answers now so we've got to complete the electron configuration for a vanadium ion in the plus three oxidation state i've just drawn up the um, full electron configuration for the atom and remember when transition elements form ions it's the 4s electrons that go first so we've got to lose three electrons so they will go and that will go down to 3d2 so part b now this is going to come in quite handy for that as well so suggest why vanadium doesn't form ions in which vanadium has an oxidation state greater than plus five well you can see it's got five valence electrons 3d3 4s2 to lose any more electrons would require losing electrons from the 3p subshell the ionization energy would be too great so it stops at five so there's loads of ways you can say this so i'm just going to say something like this vanadium can lose five electrons relatively easily due to that 3d3 4s2 configuration to remove any more from the 3p subshell requires too much energy so moving on to the calculation now so you'll notice at the bottom here i've drawn a, a sequence of pictures to try and illustrate what's happened if you've watched a few of my videos you'll know that i'm a big fan of doing this so what's happening they've taken 0.126 grams of vanadium they've reacted it with acid and generated this yellow solution containing the vo3 minus ion that's then gone into a volumetric flask and made up to 50 cm cubed it's then been reduced and turned into Vn plus. Obviously the calculation coming up uh, requires us to work out what that N is. But significantly the colour has changed to violet. Still got 50 cm cubed but it's now in this violet Vn plus form. 10 cm cubed of that's gone into a conical flask for the titration and it's been titrated against potassium manganate 7 of that concentration and the titra was that. Now you'll notice that I've coloured in the um, burette roughly the colour of Kermano 4, which is like a purple colour. So that hopefully will help illustrate the answer to the first part. Why is there no clear colour change at the end point of this titration? Because you're titrating um, Kermano 4, which is purple in colour, against Vn+, which is violet in colour. So the colours are too similar. So moving on to the calculation now, first thing I'm going to do is work out the moles of the MnO4- ions used in the titration from this information here. So the end point or the titra, 13.2 cm cubed, concentration of KMnO4, 2.25 times 10 to the minus 2. So the moles of MnO4- minus will be concentration times volume Remember that needs to be in decimeters cubed. Okay, so that's that there, 2.97 times 10 to the minus 4. Now, in a traditional titration, at this point, you would then just apply the mole ratio from the balanced equation to work out the moles of the other chemical. So in this case, it would be the Vn+. Plus. The problem is with this question, we don't know what the equation is. That's what we've got to try and find out. However, we can work out how many moles of Vn plus are in there from this information here about the vanadium. So we can work out the moles of vanadium that have reacted with the acid initially, mass over MR. So that comes out to three significant figures at 2.48 times 10 to the minus three. So we've got that many moles of VO3 minus in there, which is the same as the moles of VO3 minus in there. So just poured in and then filled up to 50. The moles of Vn plus that were generated from the reduction of these is the same. Here's the catch. Only a fifth were used in the titration. So that's coming out at 4.95 times 10 to the minus 4. So what we can do now is we can establish the mole ratio of MnO4 minus to Vn plus. All we need to do is divide the bigger number by the smaller number. So that gives us a mole ratio of 1 to 1.67 or 3 to 5. So armed with that ratio now we can go to the half equations. Remember we've got one of the half equations in full. 
So we know now that three moles of MnO4- minus are involved. Now this equation is just for one mole. So you can see for every MnO4- minus ion, five electrons are gained. So for three moles, 15 electrons must be involved. So those 15 electrons must be being supplied by this half equation. And we know that for the three moles of MnO4 minus ions, there's five moles of Vn plus. 15 electrons need to be supplied. So therefore, each mole of Vn plus must be supplying three electrons. We know that the vanadium's going back to its plus five oxidation state. So if it's losing three electrons, it's starting out as V2 plus. So to come up with the overall equation, what we need to do now is write out the two half equations and then combine them to form the redox reaction. So we'll start with the vanadium one. So we know now that V2 plus is going to VO3 minus. We know that each vanadium is losing three electrons, so we need three electrons on that side. We know that if we've got three O's on this side, we need three H2O's on the left-hand side. So all we need to do now is balance the hydrogens. So we've got six H's, so we must have six H+. Plus. So that's the half equation for the vanadium half of the process. There's the other half equation that was given in the question. So let's just remind ourselves of the ratio. So there are five moles of this, three moles of that one. So we're going to multiply the equations out now and then add them together. So that gives us this fantastic looking equation here, which is literally just three times that one plus five times that one. I haven't bothered putting the electrons in because we know that we're going to have 15 on each side, so they're going to cancel. So all I need to do now is cancel any like terms down. So we've got 24H plus on the left, 30H plus on the right, so that'll go down to 6H plus on the right. What else is common? The water. So we've got 15H2O on the left, 12 on the right, so it's going to cancel down to 3 on the left. So there it is there. If you got that right, very, very well done because that is not easy.